All right, fellas, it's really windy, uh, so hopefully you can hear me all right. Might get a bit of uh, wind noise in this video, fellas. So here's the stuff I just scored down the scrap metal pile. Uh, three nice aluminum, aluminium doors, as we say in Australia, aluminium. Um, a nice gate, but I'm going to give that to Dale for his farm. I've got some beautiful old 1900s gates at home, fellas. Always looking for the beautiful old gates and all this beautiful steel pipe. Another good scrap metal for Dale. So, as I say, guys, it's windy, so I'm trying to walk backwards. So, this is all the stuff I went for yes, oh, a couple of days ago. Now, there's some beautiful stuff in here, fellas. Heaps of history as well. Heaps of history to do with the old Moran's pub and so much more, fellas. So, like I say, I always keep saying it, guys, I will do a big unboxing very soon, but it's not going to take me a day, it's going to take me a month or two to do these unboxings. I've got so many mystery boxes, fellas, full of stuff I've never even seen. I've seen a few nice relics sitting in the bag, and I've just taken the whole bag home, and there's going to be a lot of junk I'm going to be throwing out as well. So we'll go back through this again later, guys. I'll come back later in the day. But anyway, the big front-end load is broken down, so that's a good thing for me. Also, before I show you guys, I just got these nice lanterns. They're only cheap. Made in China. Jobs, fellas, but... Dale's got a beautiful old house, what they're renovating at the moment. So I'll ask permission if I can get some beautiful footage of this beautiful old house built by the Italian prisoners of war. Um, in the, during World War II, they built this beautiful old hut. And I, Dale showed me inside yesterday. It's absolutely beautiful. The, the ceiling's made out of ena old enamel signs. And it's just just a beautiful piece of artwork. It's very, very rustic, but this would look beautiful on his old shack. So stay tuned for that, guys. Dale's pretty fussy. He doesn't really like me doing videos on him or his property, which is understandable due to, you know, meth heads breaking in and all that kind of stuff. People stealing stuff. There's been quite a lot of... Uh, break-ins around my area lately a lot of uh people stealing fuel off farmers but anyway guys oh look at this look at this fellas a beautiful fleece blanket like a nice old horse blanket we'll take that uh, so this is where the hoarding starts guys this is where the hoarding starts so i found those lanterns in this box just then screwdriver Oh, tools guys, tools. Oh, beautiful. Tools, fellas, gotta be happy with that. Oh, beautiful leather hat. Oh, look at that, guys. So this is the type when I find mystery boxes where usually I just chuck the whole lot in my in the back of my truck. Take it home, sort it out, guys. Gotta be happy with that, guys. Gotta be happy with that. All those beautiful tools. Sid Chrome too. Look at that fellas, Sid Chrome tools. Chisels, bowls. Alright, beautiful mystery box there guys. Remind me to put that in the back of my truck. Sometimes I grab these mystery boxes and put them to one side and I take off in a rush and forget about them. So this is the old domestic waste guys. This comes from about five big red bins, what the, they empty dump it on this big pile of landfill where I am right now and uh, it's buried as always say fellas so much beautiful history just gets destroyed and buried and, you know it's just in my town it's all over the world unfortunately all over the world all this amazing history what gets thrown out Got electrical cords so usually this doesn't happen very often fellas Usually I'll just walk around the side of these big piles of rubbish and see if there's any goodies sticking out the sides. Scrap, antiques, and all that kind of stuff. So we'll go on the other side, guys. And nice day today, fellas. About 26 degrees Celsius. Got a bit of rain coming in the next couple of days. So I'll do a big tour of my beautiful garden for you. Very short guys. I'm doing a huge big rearrangement. It's looking absolutely amazing, beautiful, beautiful trees growing and so much more. Always looking for buckets too, fellas. If they've got handles, I usually take them. They always come in handy buckets for scrapping and rainwater collection and 
So here's a great motor. Seat boxes, guys. Give them a kick. Got a bit of weight in them. There could be stuff in there. Crack them open. It's usually when people do their household cleanup, so they put all their good stuff in boxes and just toss it out. Another one. What's this, fellas? Pop. No. Just a bit of some chair legs. I'll grab those for Dale for his fun. This kind of stuff, fellas, I'll grab for Dale. No, it's broken, but if I see any like parts for his machinery, I'll pick up. Pots I usually pick up, but I've got so many at home at the moment, guys, for growing trees and that kind of stuff. But you know, this is a, so sad, fellas, when you see all this beautiful plastic. You know, it just gets demolished. You know, our, the society we live in is absolutely disgusting and shameful. It's, uh, you know, we should be ashamed of ourselves, fellas. None of this, nothing gets recycled in rural Western Australia. You know, we do have yellow recycle bins and they do apparently go to recycling yards, but there's been a lot of investigative documentaries where they've researched these recycle companies and it just gets in, buried into they've got, you know, they've done big research and investigations and they found out that all the recycling just goes into the landfill like this and these uh, dodgy companies are making hundreds of millions of dollars off the government and the taxpayers you know, it's supposed to be getting recycled and it all just gets just buried so there's a lot of dodgy operators around fellas so a few things there guys, I don't know if I'll grab those pots, but you know, if I see the beautiful little ones for growing trees, I'll pick them up. So we'll go for another walk around here guys, just see if there's anything exciting. And then I'll end this video and have a proper look by myself, a bit of extrusion aluminium possibly. No. But yeah, so much amazing stuff gets just tossed out, guys. Bags, empty them. Found a gold ring the other day, fellas, looking like emptying your bag. But if I find a nice new bag like that, I'll take. This. No, I can get. No, don't want it, but someone will pick it up, hopefully. Alright, guys, the wind's picking up, so. Yeah, I'll put links when I get home to the investigative documentaries about how our recycled waste is supposed to get recycled and it doesn't. It all gets, goes to landfill. Um, so it's a really interesting uh, two-part documentary I uploaded, guys. So anyway, we'll keep looking and if I find anything good, I'll do a video. So it's about lunch, 12 o'clock right now and I'll come back, go and have some lunch and come back in a few hours and see if anyone else has dropped off any other good stuff. But I'll go for these boxes, fellas, and see what else I can find. All right. All right, guys, I want to be really windy. And that Jaguar, what I did a video on the other day, is still there. So no one's picked it up. All right, guys, have a good day. See ya. Got to be happy about those beautiful tools. See you, fellas. And thanks for all your beautiful comments and all my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Have a great day. See ya.